Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here. So we're doing something a little different today. Uh, I wanted to start a series of short vlog videos that are related to Paracord, of course, uh, about topics that may not necessarily warrant a tour. Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here. So we're doing something a little different today. I wanted to start a series of short vlog videos uh, about topics that are Paracord related but may not necessarily warrant a full-on tutorial. So yeah, I thought I could uh, put these videos out there and we can kind of use them as a placeholder to maybe have some discussion and throw some ideas back and forth. But anyways, um, as you can tell by the title, today we're talking about uh, the use of buckles and whether or not you know they're good or worth using or not. Um, so this is a personal bracelet of mine that I wear the most. This is just a um, snake knot that I did in the red with this kind of um, tan color and I put the uh, brass bead on here. And uh, I personally am most used to wearing the knot and loop closure. I guess because it's the way I started wearing paracord bracelets and um, I just find them the easiest, you know, to get on and off. But um, yeah, like certain designs like this on the Eternity Solomon stitch, you kind of have to wear it with the buckle just because of the nature in which it is tied. Um, that's kind of really the only option. I'm sure there's, you can probably think of another way of closing it, but it um, seems like this makes the most sense, right? And then of course there are um, these kind of steel U-clasps that you can find at most of your local hardware stores. Uh, this is a bracelet I made quite some time ago actually. This is just a King Cobra stitch and we I integrated the uh, ring mail along the side there and I also did uh, the channel logo in a piece of wire and I kind of stuck that on there too. But um, this is another option of course. You know, you unscrew this part here, and it goes through the two loops there, and you place it on your wrist. And of course, this has its uh, certain advantages too, because it's very secure. Also, kind of like the um, quick release uh, buckles there. Um, but then again, something like this is much more clunky and heavy, and you may some people may not like that much weight on the wrist. And also, I noticed um, with these clasps, because it's on your wrist, sometimes this part can actually poke you in your wrist if you're, you know, moving your wrist up and down. But anyways, yeah, that's another option, and um, of course, there are options where you don't use, you know, any real closure at all. It's just a um, adjustable bracelet like this one here, the uh, adjustable Solomon stitch. You can find a tutorial for this on my channel as well if you haven't seen it already. But um, yeah, this is different too. Uh, I personally am not the biggest fan of wearing a bracelet like this just because I don't like having um, these two strands dangling around. But that's just me. That's just my personal preference, right? So again, um, yeah, I think I personally like knot and loop the most. I don't have to worry about, you know, pinching my skin. Um, to me, I guess it's a bit more hassle-free when I make it too, because I find you do have to be a bit more specific with your sizing when you make a buckle, um, a bracelet with a buckle closure, right? So um, yeah, I guess there is no real right answer. I guess it's all up to personal preference. But I just wanted to see what you guys think, what you guys prefer, because... Um, I know some people do prefer without the buckle because uh, that way you don't have to go out of your way to get specific um, materials, right, to make a bracelet. And also if you're ever like going out somewhere or I don't know, wherever you are, you can make and whip up a bracelet without having to have that, you know, special buckle on you and you know, you're just ready to go. All right. So I just want to pose that uh, topic to you guys. Uh, let me know what you think down below. And uh, let me know what you guys prefer and what you like, or any other ideas you have for uh, bracelet closures, because I'd be uh, yeah more than interested to hear what you have to say. All right, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll see you next time.